woman I spoke to earlier, I could hear a sigh of relief on the other end of the line that the power was back. You can see behind me that traffic is moving and the stoplights are working on old US 52. And that was not the case for most of the day along this busy stretch of road just south of Midway. People I talked to shared their frustrations as they tried to keep cool for so many hours. We're hot and getting fed up by the minute. <laughs> Open windows and small fans were not enough to keep Allison Gwynn, her teenagers, and her 92 year old grandmother comfortable. I mean, when you're dealing with someone that is elderly, I mean, it's very concerning, especially at nighttime. She has cataracts, she cannot see well. So, you know, having no light, even with candles and stuff like that. You know, they only last so long, so she go, she's coming down through the hall. She could fall, trip, or anything. Those are health concerns, major ones. Allison and her neighbor, Jesse Lockwood, didn't have consistent electricity from Sunday afternoon to Tuesday afternoon. When I last looked at the thermometer, it was reading that it was 79 but it feels a little bit hotter in there, but we have all the windows open to create a little bit of a cross draft breeze. We have water buckets literally scattered throughout the house for our two other older dogs. Both neighbors say they'll have to clean out spoiled food from their refrigerators and restock. With the price of inflation, no offense, going up in our, like eggs, they're not cheap. <laughs> so even for something like that, you know, to go and replace that, it's expensive. A Duke Energy spokesperson told me setting up a mobile transformer delayed the process to restore power. People I talked to were frustrated relief didn't come sooner, but thankful for the crews working through the night on a fix. They're trying the best they can to get it up as quick as possible. And honestly, I'm really just being selfish because it, it's hot. And a Duke Energy spokesperson did explain to me that they are still working through that temporary transformer right now while they make repairs to a permanent fix. She explained that there could be some brief disruption, but it will be brief when they switch back over. That could mean some flickering of your lights or about a minute of outage. Live in Davidson County, Tess Bargeber, Fox 8 News. And speaking of the 